Hello, Active Melody friends. Uh, so for this month's challenge, we are doing our favorite rhythm ideas. So I just played a bit of Paper Moon. Uh, it's an old jazz tune written by Harold Arlen back in the 20s. 1920s, not these 20s. Yikes, we're getting old. Um, anyway, uh, so that one's got a lot of uh, kind of like passing diminished chords that are built right into the kind of the melody. So um, basically I'm playing a G6 and then going to a G sharp diminished and then to a 2 5, 2 5, and then a G major chord. Um, so yeah, you get this kind of. And you see that over and over in these kind of old jazz tunes. It's kind of walking a bass line. Um, another one would be uh, Being Misbehaving. So it's like. So you're walking basically from a, a B flat up to its first inversion. So you're just walking, which is up there. Um, yeah, so with that, I mean, it's, you know, it doesn't have to be just jazz, though. You can do this kind of stuff, or you hear it all the time in, like, early blues, like a lot of B.B. King, T-Bone Walker kind of stuff, um, where they would, you know, do something where they're, like, doing a... It's kind of a cool turnaround for a slow blues, so you're basically taking, like, the key of G one chord and you're doing that that t-bone walker ninth chord c which is just the fourth of the key then you go to a c sharp diminished it builds a lot of tension and so you want to go back to that one and you can walk to your five uh the other thing in that paper moon song um so on their little bridge there it goes from a c to the uh, c sharp diminished and then back to the root which is the g in that case so this is kind of a cool way to end a tune too. Like if you were doing something um, in G, you could go, or sorry, in C. So you take the one, walk to a half or to a diminished chord on the sharp of it. And you got your two chord right there, which is like a D minor. So D minor. Sorry, <laughs> a little hard on this. And then um, your five chord, which is your G right here. Down to the D, so that's a you know, second inversion G chord. Anyway, and back to your C. Works here. So it's kind of cool. Uh, I've been really into this idea of using these passing diminished chords for a while now. Messing around with some inversions on different chords too. Uh, so if you've got a couple bars of something, you can move uh, within that using diminished to get to these other chords. Uh, Brian's got some good lessons on this. Uh, I will put them down below here, uh, the EP numbers. And um, anyway, yeah, so that's kind of what my favorite rhythm things are at this point in my playing. And I uh, look forward to checking out all yours. Thanks.